And so sometimes it's hard for me to figure out what I'm sensing in the past to now to what's going to happen in the future. Right. And it's, I guess it's not that common to have all those things. I don't know. Yeah. It's all new to me. Um, and sometimes it's hard to figure out where I'm at. When we're in a structure that's old like this, at the same point, you've got different generations and different right. eras. So that brings it to a whole new challenge. Right. What happened in the 1800s or 1960 or recently? Mm -hmm. And so you learn to, to try to figure out the differences and get a better get a better look mm -hmm. at the person and open yourself up more. Mm -hmm. So and it's just dangerous too because the more you're open, the more stuff that's out there that is not neutral. Most stuff is neutral. It, it's not good, it's not bad, but you're also open then to what's, what is not good. Right. That would make sense. Um, no, feel good. feel like something's hitting me in the head, like from a head injury, the, the dizziness and nausea you get from, a, from that type of trauma. Like something. I don't know. It's, kind of, it's really weird. your CD. There is nobody in the aisle way. Let's do them for you. Down there. Mm -hmm. There is nobody there. Everything is transparent. We're going to do a few things to try to recreate that, but there's, we've got this that's very, very clear and still transparent, while this is completely blur. Um, that is very, very quick. Yeah, like a hand and a foot. Mm -hmm. Looks like shorts. Shorts or black skirt, a clear blue top, and it looks like she actually looks as looking at us and goes forward. Uh, all I saw was this blue streak. Up. So I, this was... Uh, Scared the hell out of my box office manager. Well, uh, when we were all upstairs, I think about six or seven of us were upstairs doing a basic photography and getting a feel for the area, uh, we heard something hit the floor and roll. And there's nothing on the tables, there's nothing on the floor. Several of us searched for what object hit the floor, and we couldn't find anything. Incidentally, uh, this is where a piano was known to move across the floor by itself. Um, that I did not know until after the fact, but uh, yeah, just there was so much going on there that the entire opera house felt full of people as if it, we were walking around a, an auditorium that was just packed when it was completely empty other than the two people working on stage. Um, actually, I, uh, I, Charlotte and I were upstairs and taking pictures. No, just our usual stuff. We stopped and uh, we heard footsteps behind us. And thought it was one of you guys, so we stopped and waited to so you guys could catch up. And waited and still heard the footsteps come right up to us and there was nobody there. That's interesting. So I turned my back and I walked in the room, came back out only to see the camera on the tripod like somebody hit it boom hits the ground what the blank <laughs> actually to, to create that motion you would have to hit it up from here 
yeah. and flip it over. You'd have to hit it this way in order for yeah. that to occur. Yeah, it literally flaps. It, 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 and it actually flew over. Yeah. It didn't just get knocked over or, bre or bumped. You know, I can bump this. This is something, you know, I, I have no fear of bumping this. This is kicking it. it. It takes a lot of force to even do that. Even if I kick it to try to tip it over, it doesn't collapse on itself. Yeah, the only way to make it collapse is to bring it up and, and hit it over this way. It doesn't have to be bad strange. It can be good strange to you. It can be good or bad. It can just be there. Or room two. Or room two. Or room two. Woke me up and it was like, I don't know, two or three in the morning. And I sat up in the bed and I looked around and it made the sound died down. Uh -huh. I couldn't really hear it on the phone. I what the TV or how to see it on. So I laid back down and it was like someone turned it up again. <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Recording upstairs, the sensor clock. Yeah. We're gonna let this run a little bit and see if the clock lights up ah, or I fall off the chair, whichever comes first. Okay. I've done photography ever since I can remember. Um, 25 years worth of photography. I have, I've done a lot of cave photography. Um, and I have never run across what I did in those lava river caves, nor did I feel what I felt in those river caves. It was so intense. Uh, I went on into the cave and used the camera to be able to see way ahead of me and kept capturing even though I couldn't see it. On film, there was this mist that at certain points in the cave, um, it seemed to form up. It was uh, very light, like a light dusting. It just it got very, very solid, very, very dense to where I couldn't uh, photograph through it at all. It wasn't even transparent at the point. And I also noted that I had to keep changing my batteries in the camera. Um, for a total of 101 pictures, I went through four sets of batteries. Normally with that camera, it would take me, um, I would have used a quarter of the, the first battery for 100 pictures. Um, my experiences were very, very different from the ice house to the ice rink. The ice house area that everybody else felt very repressed in, I had an overwhelming sensation of a, of a man with, that had lost one arm. Sabrina that was with us saw both arms missing. Uh, I just saw the right arm and uh, she also had, has a lot of other information to add. Um, to that experience and later found out that the grandfather did lose his uh, right arm in the ice house. Um, once we went over to the ice rink, I do figure skate and noticed that um, on the ice surface I almost felt elated very 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 happy and light and, and actually really enjoyed skating around on the ice, um, but if I sat over near the bleachers, I almost got ill and dizzy feeling. The photographs were taken in that direction and in certain places in the ice, there's one spot on the ice I didn't care for. Uh, we had elevated ratings <coughs> as well as this uh, fog. Now you would think an ice rink's got fog, but not that it comes and goes immediately. For cameras, would go out of focus for uh, a, a short while and then just refocus on their own along with the fog that would come and go as it pleased. <laughs>